often have that discussion, are we going real or are we staying fake this Christmas? Because we've got a fake Christmas tree, perfectly adequate, it's got built-in lights. It's uh, up in the loft, you pull it out of the box, you put it in a stand, it looks pretty, it comes out year after year, it's reliable, it's symmetrical, it's, it's the same, same old and uh, it's uh, served us well the last few years but every sort of November we have a discussion are we going to go real this year and uh, we decided after the sort of year that we've had that we would go real so Glenn and Rebecca went to the Christmas tree farm and how, how it works is that you choose which tree you want you stand waving a little flag and then a lovely man with a chainsaw comes chops it down puts it in the netting and they bring it home uh, but once the little man had chopped the tree down, the shape of it wasn't quite as we'd hoped. And there's huge gaps in it where there are no branches. And now that we've put some baubles and lights on it, it's still looking incredibly bare because it's real. And in being real, it's not perfect. The thing is, the fake tree was perfectly symmetrical. The real tree has got sticky out bits, it's got edges, it's got branches, it is vulnerable, it, it sheds, it pines. There's things about the real tree that is absolutely spectacular, but very vulnerable. Are you going to go real this Christmas? Because the, the heart of the Christmas story is very real. It's very earthy, it's very brave, it's very vulnerable, it's very gutsy. A young Mary becomes the mother of our Lord. It's, it's it's, it's a story of vulnerability, it's a sto story of humility that the Christ child was born in, in an animal feeding trough. And so we can go real this Christmas. If we go real, we will find the promises of God to be true. We will find and discover Jesus once again this Christmas time. So are you going real or are you going to go fake? Take care everyone. Bye for now.